Are you really scared to install the new Sawgrass Print Manager? Do not worry, I've got your back. From start to finish, we are going to get the new Sawgrass Print Manager, Sawgrass Print Mate, Sawgrass Print Utility, whatever it is they're calling it these days. We're gonna get it set up. Once you get past the installation and the I have to learn something new, it's not a whole lot to learn and I've got an entire video here and a whole bunch of blog posts and tutorials to show you exactly what to do from how to install it to how to set up your universal settings to how to do your first print. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is actually download what's called Print Utility. So that is what they are currently calling it. This is August 28th, 2024. If they change it down the road, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so what you wanna do is go to sawgrassinc.com backslash products slash soft, software. And I will put this link in the description below as well. So this is the direct link that you wanna to go to to install it. I will tell you my suggestion is to sign in first to Sawgrass so that you are already um, signed in. And from there, which is my.sawgrassinc.com, also I will put that in the link, you wanna go to download print utility, okay? And that's gonna take you back to that original page. So you're gonna select if you have a, a Mac or a PC, and then you are going to click download. So this is going to download onto your computer. So I did this yesterday, so I'm just gonna show you. It comes up looking like this, all right? And then you are just going to double click that. And again, I'm on a Mac, so when you're on a Mac, this is what you're gonna do. You're just going to drag and drop the icon into the applications folder, okay? And then you're gonna launch the applications folder and you will see Sawgrass Print Manager, that's the old one that I had, and then you've got Sawgrass Print Utility. See the, the difference in the dates here? And then you will be able to launch Sawgrass Print Utility. I will tell you if you have already, if you already have Sawgrass Print Mate or Sawgrass Print Manager on your computer, you might want to uninstall those first just so you don't have any confusion, but I'm not going to tell you that that's what I recommend or not recommend, that is up to you. Okay, so you can use the shortcut icon if it's on your desktop or you can do a search to launch Sawgrass Print Utility. I will tell you when you launch it, do not um, be surprised if you get a white screen that sits on your computer and you are fearing for a good 10 seconds. Is anything going to happen? This white screen has happened to me every single time that I have launched Sawgrass Print Utility and has been up for up to 10 seconds. So once you get the login screen, then you can go ahead and log in. This is the same login that you use on sawgrassinc.com. So I don't use any of the other design programs. I don't design in Sawgrass. I only use the print utility. And if you are printing to a Sawgrass um, printer, I would suggest, highly, highly suggest that you use the Sawgrass print utility as well. So once you're in here, um, we are just going to, the first time that you use this, you're gonna go to settings. Settings um, is where you're gonna find a whole bunch of information. First of all, it is going to be the the um, version that you're currently on. So if it's giving you an option here to update, I would not take that because what I found is when I did that, it deleted the program completely from my computer and then I had some trouble getting it to, finding the spot for it to reinstall. All right, so what you have is general and then this is basically what you wanna do um, from for your like um, universal settings. So do you want it to save your recent jobs? Do you want it to save um, them in the main window? If you don't, like this is the, see how my recent job saved? If you don't want that, then uncheck these. Enable spot color, if you want inches or millimeters, you can make those selections. Okay, devices. So I have multiple, um, well I have one Sawgrass SG-1000. The reason that it's showing multiple is because there's been multiple connections. So if you connect by USB, ver or um, if you connect by Wi-Fi or your network settings as opposed to your USB, you'll have more than one. So right now you can see that I have my Sawgrass SG-1000. It is online, meaning it is powered on, and it is connected. So that's good. Here's my ink status. Print utility, all of that is right here. So if you need to do a nozzle check because your prints aren't coming out the right colors, if you need to print the primary chart, it's all right here. If you, uh, 
Well, now mine's gonna print that because I selected it. If you need to do a head cleaning, again, all of this is right here. Okay, and we'll click cancel to get out of that. If you don't believe that your ink is um, showing accurately, you can click refresh ink levels and that will update this, okay? And then um, if you wanna remove the printer in general, you can click remove. I'm not gonna do that. All right, next thing, manage size. Now, again, this is, you only need to go through this the very first time you set up um, the print utility. And I would suggest that you do that because it, it does help. Okay, so then what we have is what is the most common size that you are normally going to print? So if you are um, always going to print eight and a half by 11 most likely, then you will wanna select that as your default paper. If you have, um, if you have the tray extended and you're always going to print with 14 or you know more than likely going to print with 14 then you might want to change this now I will tell you that this is just the default it doesn't mean that if you go to print today 8 by 14 and tomorrow eight and a half by 11 that you can't change it on the um, per job you can this is just to make things easier when you are um, are printing okay it's your universal setting so if you wanted eight and a half by 14 to be the default you would set that as the default I'm going to leave mine as eight and a half by 11 you can also add your own custom size so you can do that by clicking add enter in the name that you want to save it as enter in the dimensions and then click save okay all right send to sawgrass print utility so this is the settings when you are going to send. Do you want it to automatically print? Do you want it to automatically mirror? Do you want to add registration marks? My, I would never add registration marks. There's many reasons why, but I would, I would not do that. If you need registration marks for something like um, you're using um, a printable sublimation material that you also need to contour cut around, you want to add the registration marks in your design software, whether that's Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space. Do not add them here because how is your cutting machine going to register or know what these marks are? I, I just would never do that. Um, if you want to add a bleed, same thing. I wouldn't do that here. Do you want your design always centered on the, on the page? Now, what product are you usually or most often going to be printing on or you know, um, sublimating on? Is it ceramic? If so, you might wanna change this to ceramic, okay? Media size, again, for some reason you have the option here. High quality printing, what is the um, media type you're using? If you're using a different brand that's not listed here, you can still select, um, I, I print on Swing Design, paper and I always pick true picks and it works out well where are you printing from I'm always printing from tray one okay so again these are options site wide or you know utility wide but you can still change them later all right so then just save your changes okay okay now we are ready to open up our um, print so we are not going to go to design that is going to open up the website that's going to go to that design mate which if you use that, good for you, I don't use that. So I'm gonna to go to create and it is going to open up this split, sp split screen. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of things. One, you can click add files and then navigate to your file. So I'm gonna click this one and I will tell you that the irony is not lost on me. I actually intended to pick this design. You'll see in a minute. Okay, so it's not showing up. What is wrong? I have, a, I have an error. Don't fret. You can click fit to page or you can manually adjust the size of your design. So this design that I am using is going to go on a mug. I wanna rotate it so that I can see what it's going to look like when it's rotated the correct way. It is now being cut off because it is still 10 and a half inches wide, all right? So I know that for my mug, I need it to be about four inches. If this little link here is clicked or set the way that it is, then that means that the dimensions will update relatively. If it is not, like if it is broken like this, and then I go to change this, only the one is going to change, okay? So see how now it's all mixed up? or not mixed up, but see how now it's distorted. So we wanna make sure that we keep it um, with the link so, um, so that it works 
you only have to select one and it'll change it. Okay, DPI, 1200 is pretty darn high. If that's what you want, that's, that's fine. Um, how many do you want? Do you want two of them? You want three of them? How many do you want? It's gonna tell you if it goes on to another page, okay? The other thing that you can change is the, the, um, the other thing that you can change are these print settings down here. So again, we talked about mirror. We need it to mirror for, for um, sublimation. However, if your design is already mirrored, then you don't want it mirrored. But these selections that you see here are what you picked in the universal settings option, okay? And that's just, they're, re, they're picking them here, okay? For you. So let's say we go up here and we're gonna say, I'm going to put this on ceramic drinkware. The more specific that you can be, the better your prints will come out, the better color, the better quality, um, because this impacts the amount of ink that's going down, it, amount, it impacts the drying time, it impacts the speed of the print. You might not realize it, you might think, oh, my printer's just printing. It's doing different things with all of these settings, okay? All right, so make sure that you select all of these. If you don't want high quality and you want it to print faster, go right ahead and change that. That is up to you. Now, color management. This is another spot that people don't know what they're doing oftentimes. Photographic or vibrant is really what you want. I like to keep mine on photographic and it works out well, okay? And then down here, you have the option, just like on your regular inkjet printer, do you want all of your pages to print? We only have one here, so we're just gonna print one. Um, how many copies of the page do you want? Do you want two copies? Do you want one copy? If you had five pages, you could say, I only want, you know, page five, I only want from page one to three, and then pages four and five would not print, okay? Um, so I only have one, so I'm gonna keep it there. All right, now I'm gonna show you one more thing. If I wanna add more prints, I can go up here and I can select multiple and it will add them all, okay? Or the other option, if you were to go to create, so let's just add a new one here. Let's say I wanna add all of them. They're in my downloads folder here. These Halloween mug um, images are all from So Fancy. I'll link to them for you. They're super cute um, and you can use them for commercial use, so if you wanna grab them. Okay, so all of them are here. And now what you're seeing is all of them say, there's an error. So I like to start from the bottom and just click this because um, when you click one, it expands it, so it makes it harder to see. So if you start from the bottom, that fixes it, okay? So when I come down here, if that's the only one I want to print, then I'm just gonna say I want you to print page four of four, four to four, one copy. And then I will be able to click print and it will print for me. And that's it. I told you it wasn't that hard. Now you are ready to do your first print with the new Sawgrass Print Utility and you're going to get big, bold, vibrant colors and we're not going to be pulling our hair out and we're not going to look back. We're going to move forward. All of the links to all of the step-by-step -step tutorials, written tutorials are in the description below along with some other links for products and things like that that I use and that I love and that I recommend. Everything in the description below. If you're looking for more sublimation tutorials, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help with your sublimation printer, check out Silhouette U. I do offer one-on-one -on -one help with that. Don't be confused or fooled by the name. Silhouette U is for everyone, whether you have a sublimation printer, a laser engraver, a cutter, a uh, white toner printer or DTF, whatever it is, I got you.